Hi, I started a pollinator garden in my backyard about 10 years ago, and it was so exciting and successful that I didn't have room after a short period of time. This is a problem that many gardeners have. So we decided to tear up the front lawn too. We took it out and put in this pollinator garden, and it's always a work in progress, but I don't like to do an awful lot of research. So I used the Pasternak method of trial and error, and in just two years, I had a fantastic pollinator garden. This particular plant is called New England Aster, and I didn't plant it. It grew from a plant in the backyard all by itself and is very happy here. In the fall, it'll have purple flowers that the migrating monarchs like. Uh, this is a different kind of goldenrod. It will also be very pretty in September, and people have a bad image of goldenrod. They think it gives them allergies, but it actually doesn't. It's ragweed that gives them allergies, not goldenrod. However, the Canadian goldenrod, which I have down here, uh, is very, very aggressive. It's extremely beautiful, but it's aggressive. I have to keep a real handle on it, or that's all I'll have in this garden. So I plant one of the other hundred species of goldenrod, which are absolutely gorgeous and everybody should have them. And we sprinkle a little dill there. It's not native, but it's a host plant for the eastern black swallowtails. And while monarchs are my favorite butterfly, I love all of them. So whatever we do for the monarchs, we do for all the butterflies. And I get eastern black swallowtails on my dill. And it's also, it's a very pretty flower. This is native yarrow. It's a pollinator. It's for pollinators. It's a nectar plant. And the gray-headed coneflower is now in bloom. And as you can see, there are a lot of bees flying around it. And what's very cute is they sleep for the night right on the plant. And these bumblebees couldn't care less about you. You can go right up and touch them. They are not going to sting you. A, a staple for a any butterfly uh, garden is native echinacea. And we get birds from that too. So the bees are loving it now. And as soon as it goes to seed, the goldfinches, those beautiful yellow ones, they'll be all over that. And yes, the piece de resistance is this common milkweed. And it's very happy here. I didn't plant it. Uh, people are very worried about common milkweed, that if they plant it, it will take over their own garden and their neighbors. Their neighbors aren't going to be very happy. Um, but uh, I keep it under control. But anybody who's worried about planting common milkweed just needs to plant swamp milkweed. This is swamp milkweed, and the common milkweed has runners that go all over the place called rhizomes, but not the swamp milkweed. It behaves, and the monarchs love it just as much. This is my favorite plant. It's called ironweed. It, it's, it's like a gorgeous candelabra. And the one over there will be even higher, like eight feet tall. It will be stunning fuchsia, and it will last for weeks. So here's my other common milkweed that grew by itself over here. It's very healthy, and I have eggs on it all the time. If I don't check the eggs every 15 minutes, something will get them. So yesterday I didn't have any eggs on here, but I do have eggs on other milkweed here. So this is how I check. I look underneath, and there aren't any on this one. Now, only one in a hundred monarch eggs will make it to be an adult, and that's because they get eaten. So there is our monarch egg. It's very, very small. And in a month, that will fly away. Well, all the spiders, the little red spider mites, any other spider, uh, the earwigs will get them, and any other bug that's on this plant. And so a monarch came and uh, laid eggs on, on quite a few of my swamp milkweed yesterday. I didn't take them in, so they're still here. By the end of the day, they may not be. I'll decide how many to take in, because one of my favorite activities is to give, uh, is to give eggs and caterpillars away. Because people go crazy when they raise one. It, it's only two weeks. They only have to take care of it for less than two weeks. It'll grow to 2,000 times its birth weight in less than two weeks.
back to then it's a chrysalis for 10 days and then you got a butterfly in your hand. This is my front garden. There's not, there's no shelter around it. Uh, butterflies like a little bit of privacy and shelter. But even here, the monarchs will come and lay eggs. <laughs>